Guys, if you're a fan of the Sly Guy podcast and you want that extra content, you want the extra podcast, you want the guest episodes, and you want vlogs, that's what we're shifting now. We're shifting vlogs, behind the scene footage of gigs, big gigs, podcasts, other bits and bobs. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash Sly Guy podcast. That's patreon.com forward slash Sly Guy podcast. Guys, the Sly Guy podcast is brought to you in association with Modest Beer. They're not egomaniacal, they're modest. If you want to find out more about Modest Beer, head to their website, www.modestbeer.co.uk, where you can check out their merch and the range of beers. If you want to follow them on social media because you're like, hey, I'm not an internet guy, I'm a social media guy, follow them at the simple handle, at Modest Beer. Guys, listen, Derry, if you want to come and see me do my show Bits and Pieces in Derry slash London Derry and whatever you want to call it, I am doing a show on the 1st of October. The link to the show is in the description of the video or the audio. Check it out, enjoy it, and I'll see you there. I'm the slack guy. Guys, this is the guest episode of the podcast today. We have my friend, the man, the myth, the legend, the Strabanimal himself, Rory Woods. And what an episode it was. It was just fun to have a guest. It was a silly episode. Woodsy's just recently become a da. We speak about that an awful lot. A lot of it's about other things in general, and it was just great to have him on. It was great banter, great patter. Good to see him again, and I hope you guys enjoy the episode as much as I did doing the episode. So, guys, if you want to check it out, here's where we are. Enjoy. What I've done is I got a round table with you. Yeah. So, in the previous podcast, it was just horizontal and it was awkward, whereas now. I feel actually, like it does feel different. Yeah, I yeah. feel like now we can look at each other, but also yeah. look at the camera. So if you yeah. want to look at the camera, yeah, I'm a, I just look at the it. camera. I know if you want to just not look at the camera, I'm, I'm, it's fully recording. I thought this had been like probably about four minutes, but actually it's only been forty five seconds. Here we go. Welcome to the new Look Sly Guy podcast. You've been a guest before, but not in the not in just the full. I've only I've only been getting guests on the actual open podcast recently because I kept them all secret. Yeah, kept all my guests hidden behind the Patreon paywall. And then you'd you know, unleash me. And, and now like, I've unleashed you like a, I was going to say a gammon, but that's, <laughs> the gammon's not the phrase I want to use. Yeah. I wanted to say a gremlin. <laughs> I've unleashed you like a gammon um, yeah. or a gremlin. So you're you're free and you're you're back out. You've been, speaking of uh, unleashed and behind closed doors, you've been, yeah. you've been, you've been busy of late. What's, what my, have you been up to, friend? <laughs> collectively and physically and emotionally got my bollocks knocked in over the last Six months. Yeah, it like, it's, so it's nice to be back out in the world. And how do you how are you feeling now? You look. I tell you what, for nothing, you look great. Uh, well, you're I, looking well. You're looking fresh. You're just lucky that my annual shower coincided nice. with the slag I did. That's you know good. I mean? You got very lucky. All what's the, what's the date you normally go for for your annual shower? And the, well, anything in the run up to my wedding anniversary because you need to get yeah, you need to get emptied. <laughs> you need to get the bag stretched <laughs> and, and washed. You need to get the plum thumped. I actually did. Um, speaking of of cleaning myself up, I did did a wee dose of the old uh, manscaping. Manscaping. Recently. Not that I'm sponsored by Manscaped, but you know, I I used a razor. Yeah. Not the band. Yeah, just a little respect. <laughs> I know, I use, yeah, I use a little respect to clean, but no, I had a trim there, and it makes yeah. you feel good. You know, having well, a wash it makes you feel good, you feel. makes you look good because it does yeah. make your your plum and bag look significantly yeah, it does. more when, significant. Yeah, but the only downside is when you, as you get older, your bag gets significantly more illustrious. Yeah. So therefore, you know, I, I, my balls look long. That's what I'm saying. Of long balls, small dick, long balls. Deal with. What what sort of equates to long though? You know, like tucking them under your socks, or is it more? Do you remember the Kickmaster, the toy from the nineties? I don't actually. know. It's where you put a football in a net and then you booted it and it was like on a dog leg. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I could do, I, know, I yeah. could do keepy uppies with my yeah. ball sacks. I always thought that was for blind people when I was growing up. For some reason, <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. I don't know why. But listen, if you don't have the stick. Just boot a ball, yeah. and then what would happen there? You'd boot it in front of the car, get caught in the grill, and you'd be dragged <laughs> along. You'd be fucking... Oh, man, like blind people are the worst. Yeah. <laughs> They're just the fucking worst. Yeah. I remember making fun of a blind person before I knew they were blind. Yeah. I was like, look, this fucking clump it walking yeah. along. <laughs> and he just, to be fair, he didn't have a stick. Yeah. He was just walking around like Bran from Game of Thrones. He was yeah. like, and I was like, look at him, what the fuck's he at? Thought Anybody he was on Spice or something. Nice look, wearing sunglasses indoors, regardless, is <laughs> is a big no-no for me. Like, Yeah, if you're blind. Blind or not? Yeah, regardless of your visual impairment, don't but if do you, that. But have you ever seen something like there should be a game show now again? If anyone's listening, they can they can commission <laughs> commission shows. <laughs> there should be a new game show called. 
blind or cunt, <laughs> which is where you're either just a cunt or you're blind. And you just have a list of people with glasses and go, is he blind or is he just a cunt? <laughs> like, you know who who is not blind? But I also tell you a lot of people who aren't blind. <laughs> but wear sunglasses? Well, wear sunglasses. I thought you were about to say Obama there, which <laughs> is like, I've never seen Obama ever wear sunglasses. But like it. But you yeah. know who, I'm going to get Ben. Ben, you need to put this in the edit, right? Somebody who is not blind that always wears sunglasses who should continue to wear sunglasses because they look blind. Lil, Lil John. Lil John? <laughs> Lil John. Lil, li, li, little John. From uh, Robin Hood? No, not from <laughs> Robin Hood, but from, you know... He's Lil John. Cr- he's always crunk with East Side Boys. I don't understand a word you just said. <laughs> Lil I'm not, I, I wouldn't be quite a gangster anymore. Yeah, what? Yeah. Okay. No? No, I oh. <laughs> have you not heard no. of uh, Lil John? Um, well, is it a musician or something? Yeah, and he sang like "Yeah" with Usher. Everybody go "Yeah, yeah." Oh, I know that yeah. song. Oh, that's his, is that his big hit? Lil John just movie? shouts things, right? You, you'd brought, you'd know him. See him. That's Lil John there. Right. See him. You recognize him? The dreadlocks, kings of crunk. Oh, lots of mates with <laughs> mates with Donald Trump. Yeah. Right, so he that's his look. Right, he's very inspired by Predator. Very. He looks like a. He does look like Predator. He does look like um, Predator. He's culturally appropriated the predator <laughs> dreads there. But as you can see, never seen without his sunglasses. Yeah. Um, but what I'm going to say is, he, this is the reason why. Oh, without grill. So yeah. he also has got fake teeth as well, or else he's just real wild keen on barbecuing. <laughs> um, glasses. His eyes are not great. Like, <laughs> he's, he's not a sweet guy. Like, he's yeah. very much good. Like, One's looking for you and one's looking after you, so to speak, as my yeah. granny would say. It's like the non-identical twins version of eyes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just like... It's like the Schwarzenegger and DeVito twins, his eyes are like, <laughs> yeah. they're very different. Yeah. But like, if you looked at him, you'd think, ah, oh, maybe blind. Probably a degree of blindness there because those eyes are definitely not working well. They're definitely not. No disrespect if anyone's watching this podcast and are blind. <laughs> yeah. You know? But, up, to, up to blinds. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just not wacky on blind people, you know what I mean? When your woman beg leaves in the voice, don't like her. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, just don't. No, yeah. Not wild keen, hey. Yeah. And if people are like, "Oh, how dare you?" It's like a podcast. Sorry, I'm just being honest. Well, her in the voice, you'd assume that when you go blind, you know your other senses improve. Her hearing clearly hasn't because she's a terrible singer. Yeah, but I mean, she did all right in the voice, didn't she? For being for being blind. Yeah, and I think she's going about now just yeah. doing just getting on off stage. Just, is a bit of an achievement yeah. when you think about it. Well, Bocelli, he's not one. <laughs> he should wear sunglasses because you know his future's so bright. <laughs> oh yeah but I mean is it I tell her his best days behind him oh for sure because I just, I just feel like he like he's a guy to use the phrase gets wheeled out he <laughs> he gets wheeled out like yeah. just like Ranieri's like come to Leicester and sing at our title parade and he's yeah. like well and they just like just hop on there and yeah. bring we'll wheel him out like getting wheeled out sounds like a Belfast phrase for just on the rip yeah. like, let's go get <laughs> oh, wheeled, your man out. Is wheeled out it's yeah. not a good night unless you have to be wheeled just out of the royal yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> just because you have 38 fucking Jaeger yeah oh, fuck, I mean remember those days I, I did a I did a, a Patreon podcast earlier today um, Slag Eye Podcast patreon.com slash Slag Eye Podcast nice. where I was talking about um, how annoying it is that these tins are not you know, in order. So obviously, you need to have the small one in the middle and kind of. But I was talking about. So that's, was that's in order. It, sort of. I was talking about. Um, what were we talking about before then? I feel like I'm making up a lie here. You were saying about your Patreon podcast. Yeah, but I was talking about something. What were we talking about before that? Because this is, this is the podcast content uh, that people want. Getting wheeled out. Uh, drinking. Yes, drinking. So that's what I was talking about back in the day. Mm. Like when I used to just drink way, way more. Like I used to like. I mean. It used to be the highlight of my life, drinking. I remember us talking about St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I was talking about St. Patrick's Day and how when I went out for a day of, and to celebrate St. Porig, give him his proper name, I just was, was pissing in the street, walking along, just pissing. And like thinking about that now, probably should have been arrested, sent to McGarberry because it's indecent exposure. Um, and speaking of blind, back in the day when I had a piece on me, like put a blind in a few people. But I just thought I wouldn't, I, yeah. would, I wouldn't even do that nowadays. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I like... Yeah. I just couldn't. The thought of getting that level of drunk scares yeah. me a bit. Yeah, exactly. And now, for anyone that's been like buried under the the rock, <laughs> you've had a wean, a chair. Yeah, I had a wee wean. Uh, so was, well, not me. The the missus sixteen hours of labour for a Fuck for me. a wee Jonah Woods. She dragged that out, didn't she? Ah, uh, she really mucked it. Were you go- at any point going? It's yeah, like fucking shit to do. You know I mean? I, 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 see, to be fair, it was it was quite boring. Yeah, no doubt. Um, the Wi-Fi was terrible, so 
it was just it was a lot it wasn't as long it was 16 hours but it didn't feel as long because mm-hmm. once the pushing starts then she flew did you find it very much like you know I'm I'm kind of like a you know I'm kind of like a spare thumb here can I just fucking go and like chill out for a bit and then come back or well yeah I, I, you, I, I felt guilty can I go and watch Netflix yeah, for a bit you can know? I just go to Chicken Lickin and cry like, yeah shit's, right. shit's Creek for a few hours and then <laughs> yeah. when you need me yeah it gives a turn up yeah you know what I mean just snapchat me when you're just yeah do you know what I mean? Fully dilated. Yeah, you could watch the crown while she's crying, <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. you could come in, do the work. Dilated AF. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the name of your new podcast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, but, though, don't fucking wreck my sound. There are audio listeners for the blind. Yeah. The blind as well. Listen, I mean, they're not going to listen after this, but... Yeah, you yeah. should have, like, like Willie T on the corner of the screen doing all the hand gestures. No, the, but, he, but his hands don't work, so he'd be the yeah, worst exactly. guy to get to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking Aussie Osborne. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, no, those, uh, well, his, well, his arms are like, no, the claws you get in those vending machines. Like, if you want to win a teddy. Yeah, not a lot of grip. Yeah. Very, uh, yeah. He's got like two directions. And you know what? Good luck oh, to him. God bless him. Hope he ends up blind as well. Yeah. He's fucking corner that market too. Oh, you couldn't listen to him then? No. Um, <laughs> but the, the difference for us was we were part of that Belfast Midwives thing that's come to Channel 4 next year. What's that mean? Uh, there's a show called Belfast Midwives. It's come to Channel Four next year. I don't know what you're. Are doing. you going to be in it? Yeah. Nice. We, we were asked to be a part of it. So and did you agree? Hola. Yeah. So, so I'm going to be able to watch. The so I'm they going to be like, able to watch your journey. To an extent, yeah. We've filmed quite a bit of stuff. Did so. you get some cashish for it? No, actually. Fucking bullshit. I know. We should have got sons of bitches. If fucking you should say, do you know who I am? I, I'd love to do that because. I'm not at the level of fame, but I want to put people in an awkward position. Do you know what I mean? No, but like, I mean, all you need to do is Google. And also, this is how you spell my name, because you'll spell it wrong, because people do yeah. that. Well, people but spell your second name wrong a lot, don't they? Motherfucker, don't even start me. Like, it, it's so basic. Spell it right. Do you know what I mean? But it's, it's, is it the, the standard spelling of Elliot, though? Yes, but people are just stupid. It's like, whenever I say about Shane, it's like, they spell his name Todd. They don't spell T-O-D. Yeah. Two oh, days. There's no need for the second day, is there? No, no. The, the there's, more there's days, a game on Saturday, Bishop. <laughs> the more days he can get, the better. But <laughs> I just it just annoys life in me, and that's a basic name, you know, mm. a basic English name. But Rory, Rory. Yeah, it's spelt Rory, but it's Rory. Yeah, exactly, and I mean phonetically, that's easy to confuse. And then there's like uh, there's a force to time that it's my worst moment in life. Whenever I introduce you as Rory Ward. Yeah, and still the worst moment of my life potentially. Apart from the gig I did in Dundonald a couple of weeks ago, it was shout out to Dundonald. But uh, <laughs> I, not the slag, but like I looked at a few houses there before mm. I, I moved to where I do now. And then and you heard my gig went so bad, and yeah, yeah, and I was just like uh, I couldn't do it to you. It's solidarity yeah, for you. I, but I appreciate that. Apart, uh, it's just basically an ASDA and depression. Dundonald. Yes, yeah, and that's maybe it looks like a good ASDA. Like I'm not entirely slagging. To be fair, the ASDA is good. A lot of good cooked food there. I used to work in Dundonald for a period. Um, and it was the worst period I've ever had in my life. Um, <laughs> in fact, you know what? I want to change that. I always slag Lisburn and I say Lisburn's a shithole. Mm. I only hated Lisburn because I worked there and I just bought a house in Bangor. So my boss had decided, without consulting me, he's like, we're going to move you to Lisburn. I was like, no harm, bitch. And I did call my boss bitch. You know, not their face, but in my head. I went, no, no, no harm, bitch. Mm. But um, I live an hour away. I have just a new kid and I don't want to be travelling for two hours a day. Mm. Whenever, you know, we've got a newborn baby. We bit the old post, you know, partum depression. It wasn't mm. an easy time, mm. you know. And, and that's why I made the for Lisburn. <laughs> now, actually, based in Lisburn, you know, a lot of people in mobility scooters and wheelchairs, Not, I mean, I'm not going to hold that against it. Yeah. Lisburn wasn't the worst. It's not always worse. Was there an yeah. element, though, of being happy that you had to commute so long just to get away from the family setup? No, because, way, but. because I didn't I wasn't able to enjoy the time because I was in fucking traffic being stressed out mm. so I always looked at that because at the time I was working and doing this shit on the side so I was like I could be using these two hours mm. to fucking do other stuff you know my old journey was 15 minutes was half an hour a day so I'm an extra hour and a half of my day I'm wasted I'm, I'm, a, I'm a time guy mm. I like I like I like it's like inception I like everything to just be based I like it to be the fucking way it is so I just didn't like wasting time and then uh, at, at a period as well you know, things were tough for the baby and everything else. And then I'm coming home and it's all stress village. You know, mm. you come home, she's fucking stressed, the tears crying, the baby's also crying. It was just, you know, and then I'm fucking traveling to fucking Lisburn every day. It's just <laughs> yeah, not good. To make things but worse, Lisburn's. Actual yeah. Lisburn as a, uh, yeah, have free parking for sure, but also wasn't the worst. And also don't have a, don't have a, 
a barber's called That's Us Nye. Don't do that either. Or, yeah, no, don't, don't. You know, don't do that. But Lisbon's not the worst. But from my experiences within a place, yeah. My experiences within Dundonald have been worse than my yeah. experiences within Lisburn. But the commute to Lisburn at the time of my life was yeah. an ideal. And you know what? Let me reach out and say, guys, I would like to come to Lisburn to gig again. I feel like we're over this now, and I feel like you just need to see good stand-up comedy. Yeah, so. the that's us now thing. I feel if you have a business, mm-hmm. fair play to you, but don't name your business something that could be on a novelty t-shirt or a yeah. stag or a hen. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And but again, at us now is an annoying thing to say at the best of time. Mm. And like, I feel like it's died out though. I don't really feel it's. Yeah, and I'm glad. Oh, one hundred percent. But I digress. Back to my point. Since you become a dad, mm-hmm. what's your views on drinking? Would it you be keen to take a drink, or are you scared of it? Terrifies me. Um, yeah. I don't know when this goes out, but my wedding anniversary is quite soon, oh, wh- and I have a wee surprise planned that will involve another uh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. spiking her French martini and I'm just hoping for the best. But Is he a rapper? <laughs> <laughs> I'm such an old guy. That's the worst dad joke I've ever made. Hey, You're so French martini's playing with, <laughs> with, with Drake and Little Wayne. Yeah, yeah he's playing the back. Little Wayne's a, a pizzeria, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We're on fire today. Yeah, Little Wayne's just what I, I call my child. Because yeah. <laughs> he is quite small. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but have you had a have you had a, have you had a sup yet? If you wetted, wetted the baby's head? No, I actually haven't. Because you know where the phrase wetting the baby's head comes from? No. You get drunk and they, I mean, they give you a proper plaster to celebrate the birth of your child. You come home, lift the baby and spoke on it. <laughs> 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 so you wet the baby's head or piss on it, depending on what you do. Because yeah. in the days before the kid, you would have just pissed wherever you want because you're the man of the house. Ah. So there may or may not be a beside me or a next to me or a cot or yeah. something in the room. And if you just piss and the baby hits the collateral damage, yeah. so wait. My whole attitude towards bodily fluids is just dramatically different now because my son's the only person in my life that can shut up his own back and piss on the floor and still remain a part of my existence. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from you, obviously you yeah. can do it, but like, my son fair. and Dave are the only people that are allowed to because defecate. One of the, I remember one of the first things that happened to me is, is when I became a dad that made me just think, this is something unique to this scenario that in another scenario you would not do. My point being is a baby mm. is the only thing that comes from another human's body that I'll go... Guess we hold that, you know, like, <laughs> gives a, a cuddle. Let me, let me hug that. Let me kiss it. You know, like if someone's had, like, what else comes from a human's body? Shite, shite, piss, jizz, piss or book. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you don't want or a scab. There you go. Oh, you know, you're not, you're not fucking. Give that a yeah. wee kiss there. You know, your whole, your whole just dynamic changes. Like, cause people say, oh, like changing the nappy is not brutal, and, and it is. Mm-hmm. But you're just so nonchalant. Now you're like, oh, that smells like Dijon mustard. But you definitely, but. but you, you become used to it like whenever well, did you f- have a midwife mm. that was like so like you're an idiot like did she treat you like you were mentally defunct ours was actually lovely but I mm. know other people that have had bad experiences with the midwives you know they said they were very rude and very yeah like very rude in a direct way we're just going like you're doing it wrong and you're like yeah, yeah. this is new to me dickhead yeah because mine did say to me you look at you you fucking ugly fat cunt and I was like well that is extremely rude like don't yeah. <laughs> no. coming out to see you at the Oscar but, Hall but she, <laughs> she, but she she genuinely went to me she was like when Holly was born obviously when Matilda was born I couldn't give a fuck anymore so I'd been through a cup t-shirt what else mm. but with her she was like I'm gonna dress the baby now mm. Unless you want to, and that was her way of like going, a salad. Yeah, it's like, you know, unless you want to just put some Caesar on it, and yeah. she's like, "I'm going to do this unless you want to." Yeah. And I was kind of like, "Well, um, I don't really." And she's like, "We're going to have to, so you may as well." Uh-huh. I went, okay, same thing happened when she shit for the first time. Mm. I'm going to change this nappy unless you want to. Yeah. And I was like, "Well, okay." It's, it's a real position of power that they have, otherwise, mm-hmm. because you can't exactly if one was annoying you really and being cheeky yeah. you can't really like we're going to take our business elsewhere yeah when like mid crown and you're just saying Catherine come on and yeah, she's like I've had enough now she cheated she had the old uh, <laughs> c-section like so just like the sunroof but, yeah <laughs> the sunroof you know, just like the sunroof yeah well we had 16 hours we had, we had to do that drip thing ours was 10 minutes mate it was all good really yeah what's the drip thing like the, the they, they put you on a drip they sort of speed things up but we you? were there for 6 hours prior to that and you're like ah oh, fuck that's us now here we go <laughs> 6 hours in we're starting to get a wee bit of movement yeah because it's all the di- dilation banter yeah which is definitely the name of this podcast dilation, dilation banter, banter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're like must change they're like nah nah but it's so weird they're just like we'll check and they're like <laughs> like when you're trying to open the boot of a locked car yeah. and you're just like, like nah nah, nah no sure. nothing I like the idea of that just going um, is there no sweet just 
back yeah. to what it was I doing. I always thought you just put kitchen roll and then the pen and how much of the kitchen yeah. roll was damp. Like whenever you rinse grapes, <laughs> <laughs> set the grapes in. Is it damp yet? Now we can eat those. Happy days. Yeah, it's uh, the maddest thing. Did you go down the goal end? Well, I got, I, I got brought into the uh, into the eighteen yard box without my consent. Oh, really? So we we obviously ours was a bit different then because we had the, the a planned section. So ours was a planned section because Holly was breached. Mm. So we had that. Then the second time, we had the section again because you know we didn't want her like to rip open because of the previous section yeah. scar. So yeah. we didn't want it to like pop out this way, and then like we didn't want her to you know like like be. Like a jacket potato. Yeah, we didn't want our feet hanging out the minge and then uh, <laughs> arms and head out the fucking uh, That's the thing, fucking yeah. Jonah's head was hanging out of Lisa for a good while before the rest of them was. So yeah. she was like, do you ever see those old school playing cards? So there's a head. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, at one point, like, when I, I had to hold her leg, so I wasn't planning to go down the whole uh-huh. end because I was just like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, would like to eat gammon again some yeah. point the rest of my life. So um, <laughs> I would like to try a ham hot terrine. Yeah. Um, Why oh, she have ham? At one point, I had to hold Lisa's leg, like a sort of spinning her leg, and then I had no choice. And then his like head was a, out. And then when I spoke, pen? he actually looked up at me when I spoke <laughs> out there. But it was like almost like a horror film, just like like in Toy Story, where <laughs> yeah. Woody actually speaks to Sid, going, "We'll find you, Sid." Yeah, and it's just like, All right. <laughs> <laughs> it was creepy. Like, and the you say, right? you. Come I'm on, on now. Come on. Fuck. Yeah, get out of Cheers. here. You've get, milked us enough. Yeah, uh, get out. Do you know what I mean, and Last the, or, like. Last orders. And what was your what was your like your emotion? Did you cry? Were you buzzing? Were you just relieved? What was the kind of huge relief yeah. for sure? And then obviously I was emotional because obviously for various other reasons too. Uh-huh. Um, you want ga- gear? Yeah, because I was yeah. on heavy yeah. heavy amounts of gear. Yeah, yeah. spice. Yeah, yeah well, that's a, that's a, that's a place yeah. to do it. Yeah, you know true. I mean? Do you know I mean just going to the fucking store? Get a bit of morphine, like, bingo. I, I hear I was a I was told I was allowed to try the gas and air, mm-hmm. and then Lisa fucking hogged it. Selfish. Selfish. That is too much. Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, where's the generosity? No. Did you? The gas and air is hilarious, by the way. Yeah. Not because people be like, you, she, like the woman will get a bit high and she'll speak. It was just like the start of the Lion King. Mm-hmm. The sound she was making. The, <laughs> and like, just like with happiness or pain or both. I think she was breathing through it, so obviously she was in a lot of pain. But it did sound like. No, that guy who does a bit of rapping on Mysterious Girl when Oh yes, no, I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> Did you? You should have sang on top of that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like, honestly, I couldn't contain laughter for the yeah. first ten minutes. She's like, ah, ah, ah. I was like, Phew. and she's like, you're supposed to be supportive, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's holding yeah. this fucking like yeah. funnel thing up to the gob, and just, ah. I was yeah. like, is this a constipated horse <laughs> in the vicinity? That's, oh, that's, <laughs> but it, it's it's, it's a wi- it's a wild experience because what we were told right we were told you walk in, with this is she's like right walking us through so Catherine was with us at the time because she wasn't birthing right, so she brought us in and she's like so what's going to happen she'll be there on that table, getting her wee belly cut up and the baby you know and you'll be at this side she's on a table she's not on a bed no there's a lesson to any chest mate they're fucking under a lot of pressure you got good wear out of yeah, this table this is, you sign it she's just signed it in blood it's like the Ulster Covenant it's just full of honey yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so gross <laughs> so she so brought us in and on the, on the bed okay she's on the bed yeah. and had like a, a partition like the yeah. sea border <laughs> and then except it, it, it exists yeah. and I was like an like, office block yeah so you, you go on this side and yeah. then and then down this side will be the the business so you come in this door just straight to there you there supporter uh, she didn't do that should have done <laughs> Bo Be you sit there <laughs> <laughs> pop it off right strange so, name but but then yeah. we then we went in so we went for the checkup week before it was mm. a doctor I knew from school no, not that there was a, a doctor that just hung about my school but it was a girl I went to school with had become a yeah. doctor. Yeah. Boo, a guy should have yeah. right? So. She knocked a few quid off. She hadn't seen her for a while uh. since school, catching up. You know, I was like, blah, blah, what are you up to now? She, I was like, you're doing well for yourself being a fucking top level doctor. And she's like, what do you do? And I was like, mirth. Yeah. Speak to Rory Woods yeah. on Tuesday. Like I just scrum. do banter. Yeah. And this is a Monday. <laughs> she was out. So I la- is it sleep deprived jar, yes. Yeah. Queen's funeral. Boo, a cash, oh, right? Yeah. Not so. Um, no, we actually are. It's on a live screen. The background yeah. again. It's just the you have, you have to come. Yeah, it's just <laughs> you have to do your spunks. Exactly. There we go. <laughs> R.I.P. Even though she's definitely not in that coffin, like no. But There's what no I way. I don't know who's in there. Like. I'd like this to be like some sort of WWE return. There's like a stunt corpse. Yeah, in there. Just as long as your hands are like that, there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. So we're being brought in. Should you come in this way? We went in. She was like, oh, you know, there's a foot hanging out there, and I was thinking to myself. 
she knows I'm comedian. Good banter. Like a fit is in the like, body part, or yeah, the food <laughs> oh, yeah. or the measurement. No, it was like a foot. Oh, she had a of, subway earlier. Eh? Of Holly, like her foot was out yeah. of, of the. Well, I don't know the scientific term minch, right? So <laughs> she goes, okay. The so, hern. so now I. <laughs> that's very good. Yeah, that's I remember right. sent her. So we're still booked in for the the operation next Friday, and this mm. was the previous Friday. Yeah. Whole seven days earlier, I was like, do we just go and rest up, put like wet toilet roll on it until then? And then come back. She's like, "Well, no, you, no, you, no, the baby will be out today." Yeah. And I remember going, "All right, sweet." <laughs> and it was weird because, like, Catherine said, "I kept doing this in the day," and I was like, <laughs> like "She's like, what's wrong with your face?" And I, I don't know. And I just get getting really nervous, going, "Yeah." <laughs> and then she's like, "Right, okay." So we went went in. That was grand. You're like, oh, "Actually, we're gonna rush her here." So we gave her whatever injection they needed to give her. That's actually what happened. We had been brought into the room to be told what's going to happen, hmm. but they'd also said. That they were going to give her the injection, but I interpreted that being she's going to tell me what's going to happen. Then they're going to take her for the injection, and then they're going to come back and tell me she's had the injection. They yeah. just took her and gave her the injection. Yeah. So I was hanging about there, and uh, the midwife came and started like tidying the bed up and stuff. Um, and I was like, she she had been talked to her getting the injection. Like, oh no, she's had it. She's in the. I said she's had the baby, and she went, no, no, the injection. I was like, oh fuck, okay. And she goes, I. Are you, do you not want to go in? And I was like, well, obviously I do. Like, I'm yeah. not just hanging up in the bedroom. She goes, oh, we need to get you into some scrubs. And she's like, I don't know if there's any big enough for you. Yeah, I, I was don't like, want well, no scrubs. Well, that's insulting then. <laughs> 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 but what she did, there was such a mug off. She just gave me the blue hat. Yeah. So she put it on. I just looked like a fucking Muslim cleric. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking around with this really tight fucking turban on in the beard. <laughs> now, like Abu Hamza. <laughs> so walking around. You go you in there. And I remember saying to me, she was, but don't faint. Because yeah. we, we can't lift you, you'll be like a dead cow. We we'll just have to leave you there. <laughs> yeah. So not only do I look like a fucking hate cleric, and so yeah. they think I'm gonna faint. And but then again, the door she told me I come in the horizontal route. Nah, they took me in the vertical. Yeah. Which I remember. Have you ever seen the movie Stargate? Yeah, and Kurt Russell. <laughs> yeah, I was Blurt Russell that day. Yeah. I walked in and it was just <laughs> blood and gauze. I just yeah. remember, like they'd already like opened her up. Yeah. And it was like, uh, a lot of blood here. Because mm-hmm. realistically, what you're doing, you're taking a fucking saw and just cutting open someone's belly. Yeah. So they did that, and that was all good. And then I was walking around, I remember looking at going, oh, don't look, don't look. And I went around, and it was like so fucking weird, because there's my wife being eviscerated. Yeah. And then just around a bed sheet, she's yeah. like, hello. Yeah. I'm like, D- man, I know my natural reaction is you should see what they're doing to you. Like you, you yeah. shouldn't. Don't be happy because yeah. you're you're ripped apart. Yeah, there's an eviction you know? going on. The other yeah, side here. and it's a problem. And it's yeah. like you're 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 ba- you're literally <laughs> your guts are out. You know, <laughs> you know you're. And uh, the, I remember the the midwife being to me like, just, just stop with that. See that stuff you're telling her about her uh, stomach being ripped out and her internal. Don't. Yeah. I was like, hold on, no harm to you. It's my wife. Aye. I'll tell her one. Fuck yeah. you. You've already insulted me. But at least I got my hat on, you know? So that yeah. was, and then the baby was out, and I was like, I was quite stress free and mm. all in, a, in and out. And about, you know, it was like a McDonald's drive through. You know, yeah. actually, I've waited longer at a McDonald's drive through <laughs> on a Friday night than I have yeah. for the baby being born. But the question I want to ask you is, did you <laughs> cut the umbilical cord? I did. I still have the. Uh, Scissors? Yeah, what I want. Or like, the pizza cutter? Just whatever whatever is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a bicycle shit pizza yeah. cutter. Just, but my question is, was. <laughs> I don't know where this is going yeah. at all. Was that the first time? <laughs> time is that the first Was that the first time you've ever touched an umbilical cord? <laughs> I mean, I realize when I say that, I would like to hope so. And you're like, nah, regularly. Yeah, but was it? Was, it was the first time I've ever done it. Yeah. And then. Uh, I didn't. I had. I knew this, but no, I forgot yeah. about the whole fact that there is a good chunk of it still on the baby, and it yeah. just falls off naturally. Yeah. And it's like you know, if you have a spider in your house and you're feared of them, uh-huh. and you hit it off the ceiling, it lands the floor, and you don't yeah. know where it is. I was like, what happens if this thing just falls off? Yeah, flings about like a wet tuna. Yeah, oh. and I'm just like, what if we don't know where it is? What if it goes uh-huh. behind the sofa, and you find it a year later, and it's just this mm-hmm. congealed lump? Yeah. Do me, but luckily I fell off and I was changing them. So nice, because you just pulled it off. Like this is disgusting. Broke it off. Oh yeah, like got just the, the twig. Color again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but did you find like the experience of the umbilical cord not to be how you'd imagined the umbilical cord? I found it very much to be like you know a bicycle chain. You oh, know, yeah. Like it's like really much harder than you would imagine. Yeah. To cut. Like I actually when I was cutting, nipped my, f- my skin on the yeah. scissors because I was fucking forcing it through, and it really hurt. But I didn't yeah. feel like it was appropriate for me to complain about pain at that oh, yeah. instance. But I thought it was very tough. And it is. It's like, yeah. if you can imagine, like, Gordon Ramsay losing the bat on Hell's Kitchen with overcooked squid. Yeah. 
that's, that's good, exactly good, the, yeah. the consistency you're looking at. It's fucking raw. Yeah. But the other way about. But it wasn't. It was not nice. I but don't know what his stock phrase is for when it's overdone because I watched a lot of Ramsey in the build up for the baby, and then just in any particular in, reason or just it was just easy, and I didn't have the mental capacity for anything yeah. else. So Hotel Hell and Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares USA. And were you feeling yourself becoming a bit like Ramsey during the birth? Oh, come on, <laughs> big boy. Yeah. <laughs> I was making risotto in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just using the ingredients that <laughs> came, came from. Yeah, no. well, just collecting it all, no you think. Yeah. Let's see what we can get like. Placenta risotto. Oh, I mean, people do eat placenta, apparently. Yeah, it's good apparently for they, do, they do that. Don't do that. No, it's weird. You know I mean, make better life decisions. But, but speaking of weird, um, what happened when the, when the umbilical cord fell off the boy? Um, did you would you keep it or did you do it? We still it? have it in a Sainsbury's freezer bag, eh? No, in the freezer or just out and about? I've mine like in a memory box. So, you know what I mean? But I don't like the idea of defrosting yeah. it either. Yeah. Well I, I just have it I let it dry. I did like remember when you were younger you like get the autumn leaves and put them in the Bible and just fucking let them press? No. Nope. Well no, I just didn't have do that at all. Nope, no I wouldn't. I didn't have a Bible in my house. No, well that a Quran, obviously my <laughs> <laughs> But I had put them. Um, Put the umbilical cord just uh, just in the memory box. I didn't actually press it. I thought you would have, you know, we've had a nice memory together of uh, pressing yeah. leaves as a child, but you obviously yeah. didn't. Just the too, distinguished leaf just presser. Too busy as a kid, just out getting blurred. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm out pressing leaves and you're out munching geese. <laughs> 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 but each to their own. But yeah, I put that in the memory box and it's very much like, you know, like biltong, you know, mm. just like hard beef. Like what's that, that dried beef that people eat now and they're bodybuilders? Jerky, jerky, yeah, yeah. It's like just jerky. Same, and, and have you ever Vaginal have you ever jerky. tasted it? I've ever tasted the umbilical cord. Yeah, it's, it's chewy, <laughs> much <laughs> chewier than you expect. The news. Yes, <laughs> 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 but yeah, it was, it was, it was, and it's I didn't, I didn't like it. The the start, cutting I, the cord. I didn't like the cutting the cord. I also didn't like that there was a bit of the cord still in the baby. I was like, could you not mm. just cut it a bit tighter? That's strange. Yeah, you know? I mean, and I don't put a clothes peg on it. I don't want the their kid to have a clothes peg on its gut because it gets all like it gets dirty even when it comes off. The the belly button still looks like the sort of yeah the bottom third of a ravioli. You know what I got? And it I, can get dirty and bloody. And yeah, all no, it's, it's disgusting. What I did was I just took some cotton wool and ethanol, just rubbed it off. Ah, I did like, the same. I just put rock shore. Nice, <laughs> equally as effective. Yeah, 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 same thing. But yeah, no, it was it was definitely. And how was the the period directly after? Because I didn't like it. I'll be honest. I was like, I get this baby, but then it's like you don't need really to do it a lot. And mm. also at the time, I was like, I'm tired. Can I yeah. go for a wee? Well, it was strange because yeah, again, you do be tired, but you've no right to yeah. feel anything because you haven't been free labour. So even though I was like going, I am tired as well. Mm. I'm not as tired, but yeah. I'm certainly. Plus, Lisa had the luxury of being in a bed and was going to be in hospital for a few mm. days anyway. I didn't. Yeah. Luckily, the COVID thing meant that I was only allowed to stay a wee, like a certain amount of time and then I had to leave. Did you do the fake? Like, oh, I wish I didn't have to go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, fucking raging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like, just the barrage of questions you kind of get mm. um, was like, no, she was like, do you want to keep the scissors? You used to cut the cord. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, do you want me to wash them? And I was like, absolutely fucking little. Yeah. I'm not sticking them in with the dishes. Yeah, you're and like, oh, right, no harm. Yeah, I'm not yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't want the bloody tools. Yeah, home exactly. With me. I don't you know? want to get like the wee scrubbers. No, like. but you know what? Apparently, if like any tools are used in hospital, if somebody may have CJD, aka mild cow disease, hmm. the tools they can't be cleaned. The CJD cannot be cleaned off the tools, so they just get sent to Scotland to a landfill site. Really? Just a landfill site with just loads of tools. Where did you hear this? Catherine told me. Yeah, she's she, a nurse. She's, a, so I suppose, uh, yeah, she's so she, stuff like that. And yeah. then I asked her the other questions. I was like, "What happens though if instead of like just using CJD tools, like you get you know your knee, your leg cut off below the knee? Where does that go? Because mm. I wouldn't mind <laughs> just you know have making a necklace out of it. Yeah. You know, I, like I don't know if you ever had you, you know like people used to have, like a rabbit foot for good luck, like we oh, rabbit yeah. foot. Yeah, I just like an actual. Actually. legit foot a man's leg yeah you know? ideally a big diabetic one because it'd be bigger <laughs> it's a big thick leg throbbing yeah it's the big oh. see that's Batman the thing too you throbbing. were saying about another midwife being cheeky about yeah. you saying to Catherine Catherine comes as is, is in the medical yeah. business yeah so as not as if Catherine's going to be like right enough there's blood and all down there like, yeah. funny enough but what so now that you've been sliced open there is a reasonable lack of pints of blood. Yeah, There's well, a couple of pictures. But you know what? What is good about that? See, whenever she sometimes she doesn't often pull the nurse card out of her pocket. Mm. But if, like, for example, we were on the phone for ages with a fucking doctor's receptionist because they're biggest bunch of know-it-all bastards you'll ever meet it's, in your life. Yeah. By the way, do, do you need to be a miserable soldier to get that job? I think like, so. as a part of the description. I think you have to be a miserable bastard. No people skills. 
I know that or they hate phones yeah they hate the, the process of lifting a the phone they're like hello yeah they just fucking hate everything yeah. miserable bastards but yeah she was like we were on trying to get Matilda bad skin like she's got a wee bit of uh, eczema and we're trying to get like she'd, she'd scratched at it and, and we were a bit worried it was getting a wee bit infected so we mm. tried to get it through the doctor and, and she and I'd phone and I'd be like yeah, she's got a wee sore arm and a cut and all it doesn't look too good and she comes <laughs> on and is like fucking this aggravated this, yeah the aggravated like, free, uh, this is totally wrong but it's a phrase I've heard her say it was like she's got a femoral, femoral tu- tumorosity mm. words like that and they were like oh and the receptionist didn't even know so I could put you in the doctor and she's like hey you know I kind of am a, I'm a, I'm a high end nurse but whatever and then you get things but whenever it's mugging single word science mm. boy here she's got a bloody lump on her the thing that's attached oh. to her, her elbow and all uh, her like arm when, yeah like when you overcook bacon like that doesn't taste as nice though. Uh, it doesn't. Plus, if you don't Puss. do that voice, you won't take it seriously. Yeah. No, but I mean uh, that's the bright side. But again, whenever she was like in the midst of giving birth, she wasn't like she didn't have nurse head on, which I thought was a bit. In a, you know, I, I didn't think it was cool. I wonder yeah. would it be scary though, because she knows the ins and outs and stuff like that. Quite she literally. she'll know what stage she's at and know what's actually happening in her body. Yeah. I wonder if there's like a blissful ignorance if you're not. And you to go. This is just going to be a sore thing. Yeah. For Listen, this is going to be a boo boo. It's mm. gonna hurt. This is gonna be somewhat inconvenient. Yeah, vaginally. But no, she. I think she. She was all right about it. And then it was, it was weird because I got the. You then you go home. You mm. know, and it's like, what did you do that evening when you're home? Did you did you have the just the weird like oh, f- fuck me I'm a dad now like was it yeah. weird? It's a, like everything. Obviously, everything changes. But I went back to the house, watched Ramsey. Mm. But again, I just didn't know what to be at. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Because I was only Lisa was back in the hospital and. You know, there was going to be tough hours where he's yeah. going to cry and stuff. He got there, and I'm just sitting there going, What do I actually do? Yeah, and it was strange too because I, I wasn't really in, and we weren't really in that house that long. Yeah, so even that, was that the new gaff as well? That's the new gaff. Right, okay. So that was about that was towards the end of July we moved in there. Yeah, and it was a couple of weeks later that, that Jonah arrived. So even that sort of, I still felt out of, you know, I yeah. felt just seriously out of wax, even like going to the shop and all. You're just like, What, what am I doing? Yeah, I take you didn't sleep too well that night. I slept rightly. All right. So, and I, <laughs> Fully. Because yeah, I live near the Armour Road, I was able to yeah. go up early and go for like a nice flat white. Yeah. And I'm good Did you bang. get a coffee as well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just got rid and then we flat post, yeah. post bunk flat white. Yeah. That's so nice. It, it, everything just like, you think because you're a dad, you have to equate it to every situation. Now. So yeah. like, I'm more careful now crossing the road because I'm like, well, if I fucking yeah. go now, the yeah. AIG life insurance will only go so far. Correct. That's like, fucking boring. That I was know. my biggest thing before actually before she was born and I didn't again didn't give a fuck a second time around I'm like just I actually wish if anything I would die but the, the first time <laughs> was like if I was doing a gig so I remember one night driving home from Oma I'd done, mm. I think I'd done Bogans or Dailies and I was driving home and I was just below the speed limit because like I don't want I want to meet this baby you know mm. I really want to but see now it's like, like that is the biggest thing is like you, you just are like it's it almost like I, I find like it doesn't really matter about me anymore mm. like, and I think being a comedian we always have an element of narcissism and like we are the most important be all and end all now it's like nah it's the kids isn't it and those, yeah. but then it's like you still need to fucking be there to give them shit and look after them and stuff wow. and fucking selfish bastards but like I always remember that first night being like I should go home and sleep but I was so stressed out I didn't so yeah. I just remember like watching I think I was watching like second division um, like Thai football <laughs> at one point I was just like yeah. and I just remember being like and buzzing to get up in the morning so like I couldn't wait to get to sleep to get up to go and get back to the hospital mm. and it was just yeah my, the second time and I think I've spoken about this in the podcast I was so angry because I thought to myself Holly was at my folks mm. that time Catherine was in the hospital just had Matilda who was I think the first night Matilda was great mm she's since become a total shit but the first <laughs> night she was an angel Holly was was a bit of a nightmare the first night crying so I was a bit panicked but I thought I, I, but then it dawned on me too I was like this is my last night that I might ever be in this house by myself yeah so obviously the wire had to be pulled clean off oh yes you had to but, fuck a hole on the sofa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but as well as I was like I'm going to get a nice bit of food you know yeah. I'm going to get like a nice pizza just eat it play a bit of FIFA get an early night because yeah. I learned from the first time st- don't stay up and watch second division Thai football. You no. don't. You have no interest. Go to bed. So I ordered pizza and ended up being 
delayed. It was like two and a half hours late. Mm. By the time I got there, I don't know what the guy had done, the delivery guy, but it just smelled the cigarette smoke. So he must have just been smoking away in the car. Yeah. And, was, and I opened it. It was just cold. And like, I don't want to name this place because, you know, I respect that they're they're an independent business, but also it was the worst experience of my life. And I will, for, I will never order from this pizzeria ever again. I will never forgive them. And I will, anytime I walk past them, I will just say, you fucking ruined my last night of happiness, you mm. son of a bitch. Even just getting food that's just not interrupted now, because yeah. since Wayne's arrived, we've had dinner at the same time, but we have to stagger it, because mm-hmm. it's, it's like he must smell yeah. the food or something, but the amount of time you eat a bit, and then the amount of reheating yeah, that's been done. And the indigestion, I found, because you just shovel it into you to try to oh, yeah. just fucking go and yeah. deal with them. There's... They're wild. First, like that night by myself when he was born and stuff. I just, I was like this before. Like Lisa got pregnant too, right? I didn't have the attention span for anything uh-huh. serious. So now yeah, I just feel like I just sort of have to sit on the sofa and watch anything that won't require yeah. any real thought. Yeah. That's the Ramsey level stuff. Yeah. Thousand Pound Sisters. Did you ever watch that? Oh, they're two big fatties, aren't they? I, t- yeah. uh, Tammy and Amy. <laughs> Tammy and Amy <laughs> Fatty. Yeah. Hectic. How, how, when we say fat, like, Hec- like can, can like, they dander or not? Like dander would be like their couch to 5k <laughs> right okay you know what I mean like put it this way when I first started watching it the whole guys of the show was they wanted to get the gastric band surgery mm-hmm. and then we're going for a consultation in Nashville which mm-hmm. is about a 7 hour drive on the way during the commute they stopped at 11 different barbecue restaurants wow. on the way for the consultation yeah. right okay to see if they were even eligible for the fucking surgery not I'm even be like, like I might as well this is our last hurrah yeah. And they're like, would you be able to lose 65 stone or whatever it is? <laughs> and they're just like, oh, I no problem. I'm like, you had nine pints of barbecue beans. Yeah. That's just on route here. Like, Yeah, I'm getting a route thinking about it because bar- it's getting lunch time and barbecue <laughs> yeah, no, food yeah. is... The, sh- like, the show's like that there. I'm just uh, all over. Like basically anything on TLC. That is a tremendous It is a superb channel. channel. Teen Mum UK. Oh. Watch all that. And Teen Mum, that was the inspiration behind me wanting to do that, that daddy show that I'm writing. That was a, yeah, it was like... I could do something up for Daz. The UK be. one or the US one? Oh, it was, it was the US one. Yeah. You know, because the UK one's a bit sad. Like, in the US one, you watch it now, they're all kind of like celebrities now, so they all live in these big mansions, and it's yeah. weird. In the UK one, they're just like in, in literal small wee cramped houses, and you feel bad for them a bit. You're like, yeah. just could you not just do a swap over to America yeah. and just be in fucking living in a mansion in fucking St. Louis or something? Yeah. I, 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 love I need to call it San Louis there, and I don't know <laughs> why. Yeah, you know, that, but Louis Armstrong. Yeah, San Louis Armstrong. <laughs> but they're, they're the best channels. And like, have oh. you found that you, like, you were saying everything's equated to being a dad? See if you watch anything on TV, and Aye. there's like, and you associate. It makes you more emotional, I think. Yeah, because even like, I, I was, I'm, in, I'm a crier anyway. Uh-huh. I think I'm a nervous wreck. But even like the dad sort of side of things, you know, any watch those like sort of dole monkey shows, <laughs> you know, the people that are just on the dole and people yeah. just, they just get filmed. And I just go like they always have amazing TVs. Yeah, they have like their house is a fucking disgrace. Yeah, but and TV. they literally like have to go to like food banks just to get beans to uh-huh. ration out for six months. But they have this fucking ridiculous plasma. On the wall yeah. with a fucking chipped fire stick and everything. Yeah, so three, they're watching 3D Premier League matches. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But they're like scrimping together. They, they have a communal sock. But priorities. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's the most important thing is priorities. They always have just the best TV. And they're always like, like ah, it's wild hard. And you can just see like decks of fucking yeah. carling behind. It's always carling. Oh, I mean, carling is, I mean, carling is the, the English man's rock shore, isn't it? Yeah. Like it's, the, it's the gear. It's Tinker Tenants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tenant Super. That's if you're really <laughs> balling. That's the gear. Like. I know of someone that's like a friend's auntie who just has the occasional drink but it's special bro that's just their <laughs> dressing I mean yeah. I don't I often drink now, yeah, but when nice. I do yeah <laughs> sick special yeah. well have you have you ever had special bro yourself no no I remember I used to work with a guy who was a, a security guard when I worked in B&Q big shout out to Antoine like top guy um, he would always say to me he would drink tan and super and mm. he'd be like you could never drink six tan and super at the time I was like yeah Hey, I can put away twenty four tins of fucking stelac toi. Yeah. So I mean, I think I can manage. Yeah. And anyone do it? So me and another fellow I work with Stephen, we're like, okay. He goes, my folks are on holidays. Don't, don't come around and play Mario Kart, and drink six ten super. And I went, I mean, that sounds like a great night. Yeah. So I went round, had I think a few ten super, 
the most blocked I've ever been in my life. Oh, yeah. And then I remember the next day his parents came back and I was asleep on the sofa with just my arm down the ground and it was just, at my hand was the last, yeah. the, the sixth ten of ten of Super. I yeah. just couldn't do it. I went back, I had the hangover for days, went in and he was like, do you do that? And I went, yeah. And he goes, yeah. didn't drink them all, did you? I went, nah, I didn't. And he goes, told you. Yeah. And he was right. Any sort of beers that have like a sort of big sort of onomatopoeic like positive <laughs> word yeah. is going to be minging so if it's special brew or tenant yeah. super you're like alright so what's dog shit yeah I remember super. once um, do you know wine flair oh well oh, the, by the way the worst selection of ciders you'll ever see in your life yeah it's fucking such a shithole but it knows it is it yeah. knows it's a dump so you, like you know where you stand but they walk in wardrobes but fridges yeah <laughs> and you kind of walk in there and there was like all these like blue bags that were like brown taped and they're like this is just like out of date stuff, so it's uh-huh. heavily reduced. And we got um tins of out of date Carlin. Yeah. So it was like thirteen tins for one thirty. Yeah. Something like that there. And uh, it tasted exactly like Stella. Yeah. I'm on to something. Yeah. There you go. Stella or Lion Just bastards. fermented Carlin. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah, it's just fucking dramatically out of date. Yeah. Just me. Telling you. But Buy Carlin, wait till it goes out of date. Did you were you full? I, I was, oh it falls <laughs> Nun's dick, <laughs> which is not the, the yeah. Phil's a priest dick, yeah. Unless you're a cute altar boy, I guess. But I, I'm scared of drinking now. To go back yeah. to the original point, forty minutes ago. I know. Um, I probably would take a drink. Yeah. <laughs> but but like, do you again, have? We're con- contemplating, say, I've got to be surprising for a wedding anniversary, but I just can't. These get nuts. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, nine keep those. I've had enough <laughs> of those nuts over yeah. the last. I, I just wonder, like, can I do what we're doing now with a baby? Haven't had maybe even a couple of drinks mm-hmm. in the evening. I wonder fundamentally, is it worth it? Would you have somebody like what? What are your views on getting them looked after overnight? Would that be something you'd be open to doing, or is it maybe not now? Yeah. But if it was a, a family member, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was one thing I'd like. I know from my own experience and others was get them used to staying with somebody overnight Aye, because no, good, yeah. like one of some of our friends haven't done that mm. and then the kids are super clingy and you feel terrible whereas like we I think Holly might have been two hours old before I just said to my ma you can yeah. she's yours now. Work away. but no it, it did help because then when you go out but then all you do is you, I, I'm sure you'll be exact same you just go out on your phone is he alright is she alright yeah. you know, what's happening and then you're like you, you don't drink as much as you think you will yeah. because you'll want to go back and get you know collect yeah. them but like I if, just think if we had some sort of occasion I would need to ensure that they're looked after and then we're not lifting them until at least like five o'clock the next day yeah. to allow the hang yeah. to kind of be dealt with yeah because I mean, as you get older obviously that it takes a lot longer they have no respect yeah. for the hangover that's what I learned because again I used to be quite fond fond of the old tipple yeah. and as soon as it, the chad came along nah yeah. I fucking can't cope with it the such a with the hangover thing. now for me is that like physically I'm fine it's just mm-hmm. my brain just doesn't work so yeah. much so where I used to live was wild awkward for getting food delivered. No, yeah. no sat nav yeah. would ever get it right. He's lived in Raffin Island. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> lived in the east coast of Galway. We were getting <laughs> chicken licking on Dublin Road. But I, I remember one morning I was I was hanging. The hang was deep. Yeah. It was, was not shallow. And uh, I always basically had to order food and then say, look, I'll come out and get you yeah. because you'll not find the building. Oh, yes. Right. Is, so yeah. I, I would, that's pretty sound, yeah. to be honest. And uh, I went out one morning and I got a McDonald's breakfast order. Oh man, that so is hard a, to beat. A double sausage egg McMuffin. I, I, if you get bacon at McDonald's, hang on self because yeah. it's fucking wild salty. But what is nice though on the breakfast bap, you don't really notice it because you got the, the egg, you got the cheese, uh, you got the burger and exactly. the sauce. I agree. But, uh, but bacon by itself from yeah. McDonald's anyway, minging. See when it comes to that, yeah. just call me Caleb because yeah. you're Jewish. <laughs> I just keep, keep your pork, so you know. I was I was hanging. Okay, I went, I had to go all the way down to the fucking front of the building, went outside tracking the, the driver and stuff put my phone on I was like he's nearby the guy walks up and he's got the McDonald's bag and the coffee and I'm like Rory Woods and he's like what <laughs> Rory Woods I'm like ah, that's my stuff there double yeah. sausage egg McMuffin extra hash brown mm-hmm. coffee he's like what and I'm just like it's me I've come out to get the food I said I would come out to get it and then uh, it turns out it was just some random guy who lived in the building he didn't even work for Just Eat <laughs> and he didn't even You're have any like he had no it. uniform yeah. or nothing it was just some random guy going some guy tried to steal my McMuffin yeah just today. give me your bread but I mean where you used to live that could feasibly was, be something that may have happened the people oh, yeah. used to say get your breakfast yeah, man guess don't know why Scottish <laughs> get your breakfast <laughs> man he's in three yeah. spot and he's like I, I, I know I, I don't know why but why are you trying to take my breakfast yeah. Yeah. Just, just he didn't guy. even have yeah. any attire that would suggest he even has any affiliation with Just Eat Delivery or Uber Eats did you get your breakfast that day though I, I got a sort of eventually because yeah, I had to go to fucking pre-market to get it 
the amount of time I've had to do that before. Send food to Primark. I, no, I had to walk down there because the guy was like, "I don't know where I'm going, Mister Woods." <laughs> right, That's the guy from the Shankle doing <laughs> the delivery. Because <laughs> I, I remember the days of like Nifty Nosh. Do you remember Nifty no, Nosh? No, I don't. What's Nifty, Nifty Nosh? Nifty Nosh was like the original like website for ordering food, and I used to get a place called Is it Arnott's in Andy Town? Arnold's. Well, Arnold's. 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 Well, there's an Arnold's. I, I, there's an Arnold's in East Belfast, which is well known. I, I, I Could used have to been. Get, get food from there. So and like, they would do the kebabs and the yeah, chips. Yeah. yeah. That's how it was spelt. That's my yeah. favourite thing to do. Like, I don't like social media that much anymore, but see, you see the other thing on Facebook of like small town restaurants sharing their menu. Yeah. And just some of the attempts at spelling. Like, yeah. there's a place in Straban, and I assume what the starter was chicken Caesar salad. But the way they had spelt it, they'd have been closer just going Catholic chiropractor salad. <laughs> that would have been closer than their attempt. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I Catholic chiropractor. Love it. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's a bar in a cathedral quarter. Check it out. What you should actually do, though, is, you know, if you have your own restaurant, is maybe, you know, have something to spell check. 100%. You, you yeah. put, or else uh, at least be like Hungarian or something. Yeah. You know, be like, this is my attempt at, <laughs> at, at this, you know. Yeah. But some of the spelling mistakes are just. No. Between like small town restaurants and it's like small town nightclubs putting up their albums and photos yeah. from the weekend and it's just a monster safari. Yeah, like I do find like and this is probably offensive to you as so somebody that's not from this part of the world, but like I would say like outside of like the conclave of North Down and Belfast, yeah. I just can prefer everything else as culture. Oh yeah. Everything is just culture. Yeah. Outside there, you know. If you, if there's a super value, culture. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's we have a super value. Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we went we went holidays, um I would say down south, but it wasn't down south, it was across the border. So mm. say it was west. Yeah. And over that way. Like you go to if you stop at somewhere like an apple green here, you get a Greg's or you get a fucking mm. subway or you get a McDonald's or whatever, yeah. you know that you get like, the shits. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you go to Super Value, full roast dinner in a carton. He's <laughs> like, Oh what do you get for the, you get the full roast dinner, yeah. gravy, the works, roasties oh, wow. And then when you get a yeah. fucking carton of milk, it's like, yeah. what? They just get away fucking I can't Pepsi. even slag. I mean, yeah. this isn't a culture reason, but I, I got roast dinners delivered to the house from Pugs. Yeah. Sweet, <laughs> oh, here. <laughs> Apparently, they're carvery. It's fucking is banging. It's the really, shit. Uh, Paul Gugglies, on yeah. go in, into the place and obviously have pints and stuff. But yeah. don't be hesitant about getting out. No, because delivery. we actually, we were chatting about the, the comedy club coming back, which, watch this space, there'll be something mm. soon. But they were telling me that they're like, we do. They didn't say it like this, but this is how I read it. It was, our carvery, it's the shit. Yeah, like, it's fucking banging. I say, not only is it the shit, but we will bring it to you. Mm. And I remember thinking to myself, I love, I do love a Sunday carvery. Yeah. I accept sometimes, big man can't be arsed going to get the Sunday carvery. Oh, yeah. But see if they bring the carvery to me. Yeah. I'm in. Dana Carvery over here. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. The thing is too, you're just, it doesn't matter. Like, you're just not going to do it yourself. No. Like, it's just not worth it. Even such if it's work. lovely, it's not yeah. worth the effort. Because I remember going in the pugs once when they were doing the carvery and they had, they, what's a traditional carvery is when you have a chef in the whites. Ah. Uh, cutting the meat yeah you know and I, and I mean I'm a man that likes to see another man chopping his meat for yeah. sure but it's just that's what you need and it, and, and Pugs the food in Pugs, food in Pugs great. is delicious I, I was there a couple of weeks ago and had, had the the spicy chicken wrap yeah. what's what's it, what's another buffalo chicken buffalo, buffalo, chicken. buffalo chicken that's how I'm an old man spicy chicken yeah. wrap buffalo chicken and, and yeah. I was eating it and I was salivating I was like this yeah. is I'm like fucking Pavlov's if, dog I'm like don't ring a bell here I'm going to be associating anything with this fucking bu- delicious it's chicken fucking wrap so, do, you know, do you know what annoys me I think it's definitely a sign of age but I don't know if it's a Kids, wild Belfast children, thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. teenagers anything that's not been able to just wank freely yeah <laughs> I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a Belfast thing but certainly back home and in Derry and stuff you see it in the menu. Chicken melter. What the fuck is that? Is I've that never. just chicken with cheese on it? Probably. I've never heard of a chicken uh, melter chicken before. Melters, so get a Listeners, chicken melter with garlic spuds. Write in the comments, what's a chicken melter? A chicken melter. Uh, right, so here's one for you, actually, right? What is, because I, like I like to ask people this, say you're having, like, you're, you're dead. You're not right. dead yet. You're <laughs> going to be made dead by right. the law, the courts. Right. And so over being here, executed. Yes, you're being executed. That's yeah. probably the right way. You're being yeah. made dead by the courts. For, for being a Straban man in Hollywood. Yes, so you're not welcome. I know, to be fair, I see the, the net is closing. Yeah. But what I would say is, you get the three course meal, right? You know, your last meal. What mm. is Woodsy having? It says, what, like, because again, I know you're a man who enjoys a combination of foods. You like, yeah. you like your, but would Fusion. you go for the roast? Would you go for the carvery? Right? What's your as, as starter, meal? main, dessert? Well, if I can be totally candid, the roast thing, I'm not wild keen on. It's a very odd thing. See, but you can see when I'm in the mood for it, 
Definitely. And because I married yeah. a, a female farmer yeah. who <laughs> lived off beef exclusively. Yeah. And then luckily um, she met you because yeah. she still gets a solid supply of that. Yeah, she gets a hot beef in the yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> With so gravy. Yeah. <laughs> so gross. Cauliflower cheese oh. on, on the back of the elbow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I, when I when I have a craving for the roast, mm-hmm. it's one of the nicest feeds you'll yeah. ever have. But I'm not a massive fan. But when I do, do it, I get it delivered. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, of course. To, it's not worth the effort. But three courses, my starter would have to be wings, mate. Wings? Wing, decent wings. Or See. Like, like tribal burger level wings. Oh, that tribal burger is a good spot. Mm-hmm. What, is the, what is the sauce we're talking on the wings? Um, I, I don't really see that. Frank's hot sauce uh-huh. is it's shite. Because yeah. you can get, like... You can have hot sauces that are really hot that are really nice. Yeah. I think a lot of hot sauces are just like, no, we'll just make this excruciating where you yes. need to like wipe your hole with a Cornetto, that sort of <laughs> level. Um, I would just go like just barbecue wings, like the plain wings yeah. you get in Domino's, that level. But I would still have a lot of blue cheese and, oh, celery, the, and celery sticks. The tonight. blue cheese is the dip. That's oh, what yeah. I was going to say. What's it, that is the dip. Yeah. That's I know that's never come up on a dip. podcast before. No. The idea of blue cheese and wings, but... No. Um, Delicious, but I mean, already. I would say fucking keep keep the salary and keep the salary. Uh, just give me more wings. Uh, yeah, so that's a starter. Yeah. That's a, now, the next question is not exclusively asked as part of the as part of the being made dead by the government uh, meal mm-hmm. plan. What do you company with drink wise? You can have a different drink with drink each. Each, can, uh, each time with the wings, yeah. I'd have to have a pint of Samuel Adams Boston Lager. You're a big fan Hepster, of Sam Adams. Cunt. Yeah, uh, yeah, I like Sam Adams. And there's not a lot of places to do it. Mm-hmm. So when I when I do. F- I feel like Indiana Jones every time I get it. Like, yeah. I find one. Yeah. I find it. Like but Pokemon Go, do you know what I mean? But they are nice. I've had that in the US of A. Yeah. Yeah, Sam days. Adams. So uh, Sam Adams with that. Nice wings. The main nice is the pressure. Yeah. I d- I'm torn between like a very decent burger and chips or mm. nachos. Nachos? Nachos. Whoa, wow. Like wowie. proper, like yeah. decent, like with chili beef and stuff. Mm. and decent guacamole and is there anywhere you would go they'd be like this is the nacho spot or this is the burger spot where are we going if you're getting I do a mean version of nachos nice Um, but in Belfast it's not really a big thing it's not good in um, a certain Mexican chain yeah Bougian I don't care no one's really nice in Bougian anymore really nope no Bebe Adriano's don't sponsor the podcast anymore but genuinely that's that's the shit. Is that's it? the spot. Where is banger. That? Is that banger. High Street banger. banger, yeah. See, I haven't seen the banger in ages. I might just try and come down for one of your gigs. Yes, yeah, see whenever you... Give me a tour of banger. See whenever... Listen, we'll do it because we are the vlog guys now. That's what yeah. we do over here on the Patreon. We vlog. The so maybe you vlog. Down. I, the, hey ho, the rattling vlog is <laughs> indeed. Yeah. Maybe you should go to Rathlin yeah. and make a rattling vlog. Yeah. And then it'll just be done. the longest vlog of all time. <laughs> yeah. Just, just us yeah. drinking <laughs> and super and chatting, chatting about on a umbilical uh, course. Yeah. But what I would say though is like Banger is, and I hate saying this in the podcast because I don't want thousands of people to hear it, but it's a great spot for mm. food. Now I don't want everyone just coming in and, uh, you know, gross mm. cultural appropriation of people from Belfast, uh, but it's good spot good. for grub like it is a very good spot for grub yeah i must i, yeah. I might just come down for a day yeah and, and just do like a food and drink you know what i, I, vlog it. I nice. yeah i want to make something where i do take people around to places so yeah. maybe we'll incorporate that if i can, if I can get a, some free time in the next yeah i mean years, listen you think that's going to happen it isn't no no it's definitely you're, not but. you're done your time. You can just come to do this podcast. I'm like, I'm yeah. already, I already feel like I'm in the Because we've, we've just been chatting for an hour beforehand, so sorry about that, Lisa. But what we will say is, like, when you get away, it's good to get away. Absolutely. And is the, where's the chair now? Just in the gaff by himself. Yeah, and then Lisa's mum's up visiting today. So it's See, not too bad. I'm going to bring back a box of guilt trip donuts for everybody. So that's, nice. that's fucking yeah. sad. So you got not, coffee, so like a nice, I like the, I like the pain away. But what I like what you've done there is you're getting stuff from guilt trip so you don't get sent on. A yeah, guilt, a guilt trip. trip, exactly. Do you know what I mean? But you know yeah. what you're out. You're out doing. You're out here. You're out. This is work. You know, working work. guys. Yeah, believe me, this I mean, is work. <laughs> you say, yeah, you're definitely. This is <laughs> a fucking. It's a struggle. This is but, a shift. But while we're here, speaking of work, do you have anything coming up you wanna um, tell the, the Sly Hearts? I'm about? getting back in to stand up. Obviously, I had a, a bit of a turbulent time even before the the way around. Anybody knows me on social media, will know what happened. Mm-hmm. But um, but if for get, those don't, get, do you care to yeah, go over the bat? Uh, <laughs> no, no. Uh, I lost post stroke Pat. My dad sort of sadly passed. Um, they're all cancer um, but it was a nice send off in that uh-huh. do you know what I mean yeah um, and I always felt like a strange like at least I knew it was going to happen I know like mm-hmm. fundamentally it doesn't change like how much how shite it is yeah. but there is something about knowing yeah. like we knew right there's a couple of months mm-hmm. left do you know what I mean yeah. and he was in the hospice and stuff in Derry which is 
the Galgorm from, mm-hmm. from yeah. Ronaldo. It's actually outrageous. Yeah. Like, so we got very lucky in that respect. If it wasn't for the fact that you would be terminally ill, would you go there for a wee break? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how well it will go down with <laughs> me with my functioning organs. Yeah. <laughs> I just hear you fucking yeah. robot, hey. Yeah. I'm on Skyscanner yeah. for next year, don't you bother. <laughs> but uh, the good thing is, I meant to tell you this before we started, but um, the good thing is about, you know, do other people who mightn't be from here know awake seems like a very weird thing to do yes. having the body out and stuff but like hearing all the stories and stuff about him is quite nice Yeah. but obviously at the minute we're clearing out his house and my, my younger sister um, whatsapp me like this old like Victorian style candlestick uh-huh. in his house and she was like do you remember what he did with us um, I mean, I know the obvious. Yeah. I guess you say he killed Colonel Mustard in the library somewhere, but oh, I was going to say he up his whole life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's a single man, God yeah. bless him. But um, <laughs> Hannah was like, "Do you remember what he did?" Listen, I had to think, and I was like, "It was the time that my dad made a boiled egg, but he didn't have a <laughs> shot glass or an egg covering, so yeah. this big massive <laughs> <laughs> candlestick man." And I was like, "Pat Woods was the only fellow to eat a boiled egg at eye level." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I mean, you yeah, know, boiled egg at any level, so pain in the whole seat, trying yeah. to get the top off a boiled egg. Yes. Yeah. Ah. When you have to fucking ah. take a step ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. Yeah. Oh, that was very, very funny. Yeah. yeah. You know I, mean? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot. Boiled eggs are the most ornate, mm. simple food. Like, you just, yeah. just, just peel it and eat it. You know what I mean? But that top, did he have soldiers for it too? I, but I don't know what he, he used instead of bread. <laughs> 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 God only knows bread sticks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, obviously it was a WhatsApp photo of the candlestick, so I know it was a, a quite and tall thing. But yeah. I don't know it could have been the yeah. size of, like these lights. Maybe it was so. <laughs> Imagine you walk Maybe in there like, one day when you finished the boy, yeah. he hung up his coat. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, "What are you not about that?" Oh, I just had breakfast. <laughs> Weird. You got a nosebleed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but see, the thing is. Everybody assumes that everybody's like eggs are so easy. You no, know, particularly yeah. when people are trying yeah. to get healthier. Like eggs are great; they're so quick and they're so like painless. No, they're not. Yeah, <laughs> there's so I mean? many ways to do eggs as well. Yeah, particularly they're like all oh, poached eggs or nah. No, do you know what I mean? Po- I, I I just I like I I need eggs to be a certain level of cooked. Yeah, I don't Although like it that it looks hard boiled eggs. Like life's too short. Yeah, you see the people you, have them in salads, and you're like. It's stuck there if you're my already. So what's the what's the, the eggs you would go for? You go to eggs. I do. I like I like decent scrambled egg, you know, but mm-hmm. I don't like them where they're all cre- like, cre- creamy and all. I yeah. don't like that shit. Where like, it nah. just looks like bakaki to me. Yeah. Um, I like them. I do like them bakaki. <laughs> <laughs> Toyota bakaki. <laughs> so yeah, um, anybody who assumes eggs are a fucking breeze. But obviously, the easiest way to eat a boiled egg is probably not the way my dad did it. No, I mean definitely not on top of a an elevated. Uh, candlestick for sure yeah, no, no. exactly like, how do they keep it steady uh, I know, but, but like the worst bit about a boiled egg is that first bit because it's still warm yeah and you're trying to like hit it with a knife <laughs> to, to he's using a fucking samurai sword <laughs> yeah he's just got a guillotine yeah <laughs> he's got like fucking like what do you call it like, jeepers creepers like yeah. a big scythe a scythe <laughs> Yeah, so that that's been good, but um, I'm doing the limelight. <laughs> I'm doing the the limelight on the tenth of December, the big the tenth room. of December. Yeah, the big room this time. Very was, nice. Did the small room twice? They fucking started out, didn't they? Didn't fucking, fucking hell. So you have to do it again. I know. But I have to do it again because my son needs Rockshore, so we do get a mm-hmm. ticket. Um, but I'm. Does that what he drinks? Eh? Hmm? That's what he drinks. That's what he's drinking. You need to get him on the tenant supermarket. It's just what Lisa expresses from the tent. Yeah, he's been a bit of a fruit here drinking the rock shore. Yeah. You need to get him on the hard stuff. Uh, yeah. Get him on the tenant super. Yeah. Get him on it now. Get, build up a resistance to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Build up an immunity. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> like the, the, he's breastfeeding at the moment. Oh, good. See, that's good for you. Uh, I support local. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But uh, like, because we had to do like breastfeeding classes and all, but because we were, you were like, I, mine, mine don't work. Mine. Yeah, exactly. Like, see, he's tried. Uh-huh. That's why the skin on skin thing that they always yeah. say the dad should do. I haven't really done that because as soon as he was born, he went straight for Lisa's Nork. <laughs> <laughs> straight forward, he's just gone here. I've been in there a long time. I'm fucking I'm yeah. parched. <laughs> <laughs> and he just went straight on the ditty. And Lisa was like, "Well, I suppose this is happening." But we done all these sort of feeding classes and stuff. But because we were moving, mm-hmm. um. I didn't get like a lot of the memos, like a lot of emails. I just knew what time it was, but I was visiting dad in the hospice and then I was like driving lessons, working, gigging. Mm-hmm. So Lisa's like, we're doing this uh, feeding class. It's all over Zoom and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I didn't get the memos that they needed. Like, Did she have to get her drug? Was I? 
Over Zoom? No, no. I'll keep the dirty eyes away. Yeah, so that's what you do, and you chop it and yeah. it squirts out. Yeah. yeah. Can you get your Mbappe's out, your yeah. Killians? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but apparently we had to like have a doll. So uh, she could be like on the doll. Here's how you could know. Like a them daddy doll or a baby doll? A baby dolls and stuff. All right. I so, thought you meant like just a big tit doll. Yeah. This is what you do. <laughs> well, I, we didn't really have anything because we moved house as well. So we mm-hmm. were like, it was the dregs of the move. So we had everything moved, but we had to stay in like an extra day before the internet changed over. Yeah. So they're like, go grab something if you don't have a doll because you need to have muscle memory and stuff. Like yeah. So we had was like, no, sort of a candlestick. A Victorian <laughs> candlestick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit long it's a bit longer than the baby will be but yeah. same idea I see same to be idea. fair my baby's fucking tall you know yes yeah. taken after the big man 5'7 yeah. 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 he's uh, Peter Crouch yeah. uh, <laughs> the one um, but we had to do all those classes and all and I was told because obviously I was busy I said Lisa I'll do this but I don't want to any questions and no, I don't have to turn on the camera and zoom <laughs> the most um, anti-social guy uh, listen I'll do it but I don't want you to talk to me yeah thanks like when the interview like pedos and I don't want to be exposed <laughs> on UTV <laughs> just like pixelated <laughs> listen I will be here for the, but I don't want yeah. to be involved yeah. I have a candlestick will that do suffice <laughs> <laughs> but they ask all these fucking stupid questions to me like immediately they're like can you turn on your camera please so I was like Ugh. and then fucking turn it on they're like how can we make breastfeeding more exciting and stuff like that there. Poor oil over your daddy's first. I nearly, I, nearly, I nearly said strobe lights at one point. Because <laughs> <laughs> they were like, I'm all about bottle feeds. And I was like, why does it need to be more exciting? And the, my wife was all, well, basically, you know, it can get very boring for the child. And I'm like, this stuff's keeping you alive. Yeah. Sorry if this bores you, <laughs> you fucking ungrateful bastard. Whether it's, whether it's, whether it's bap or bottle, be yeah. grateful. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because they were like, you know, that's only the two ways you can get fed. And she was like, yeah. you can't use Deliveroo for any breast milk or stuff like that. And you're like, well, let's, like, see. Like, let's have a nosy some here. Some of your least. listeners have probably tried that. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> Just Tate. I mean... <laughs> Did somebody say? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I was yeah. like, I don't know how... They're like, because obviously the breast eating thing, there's only so much you can do because he's latched. Yeah. That's their official term. He's latched, which means he's sucking rightly. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> Is you know he still I mean? a daddy man uh, now? Like, he's still on it? I inherited a few things from me, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but do, do you have to feed him at all then, or is it just... Yeah, yeah. we sort of do a mix, because sometimes he won't latch, and then balls. when he does latch, he's he's wild keen. It's like fucking Cosmo and Victoria yeah. Square for him. Like. <laughs> um, so he... There's no real time frame on it, so he's mm-hmm. like, we can, I can go in the morning, but he could be there He could be there for hours. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because he'll, la- he'll feed for a good while, and he'll just stay. Can you strap him on? Like, do you have a wee strap to, like... Keep him on the tit. I don't know. I'd sort of like rest him on a candlestick. Yeah, <laughs> you go. I was gonna say like a wee Nepalese like a, guy, but he's a wee Nepalese man just strapped <laughs> on. It's like hanging off everything. Like a wee Sherpa. Yeah. Oh, he did he Sherpa. But I don't know how to make. It. She was like Mount Ever breast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think of one. Yeah. <laughs> I will think of one. Yeah. yeah. But so he. So, but the, this is the thing. Have you ever had the grossness of breast milk in a packet? Because um, we had we had the breast milk and effectively just Capri Sun cartons in the fridge, and so I she up, expressed into yeah. them, yeah, and then just sort of like and like I, yeah, and then I had to fucking come down. I remember one night I came down and I cut it and it spilt all over the the, the table, all over no, all over the fucking hob and all over me. Mm. And I think that's the closest I've been to wanting to kill myself in an instant. Yeah. It turned me that much. It was gross. Yeah, because I, I I do the same with normal milk. Yeah, I'm very I'm very particular about which for a college. Uh, exactly. Like, yeah, that's one you, thing. You are. You're definitely a Belfaster now. You've been put. I, I, I generally consider I even like, in terms of being a comedian as well. People are like he's a Strabane comedian. I'm like not really. Like yeah. I'm not dissing it, but I'm like I've, I've started in Belfast. And I've lived here quite yeah. a long time. Um, but yeah, the the milk thing, breast milk. It's like expressing. Yeah, it's just weird that that's your life now. Where you're just sitting yeah, watching Hotel well, Hell, and this is like, <laughs> Jen, like yeah, they start. She's got this pump. Yeah. And stuff like that. Like, you, you just have the best day. Like a bellow, yeah. just because I don't. wonder, like, if a man's donating sperm, can I uh-huh. get some sort of pump and be like, pump away? <laughs> just, I and think that's just a flashlight. Re- yeah, get it weighed in the post office, recorded delivery. There you go. Sent out to the world. Yeah, because you know I, mean? I actually thought whenever the child, the child was born, you know, all that white stuff all over them. I thought mm. that was just the spunk that made them. Yeah, <laughs> but it's not just just all poached spunk. Yeah, yeah. That's but what I, 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 I do say. Like, it's just like any sort of like. Kind of like common bukkake videos just look like post eggs gone wrong yeah you know what I mean they really like I, do them but I always wonder like who watches that stuff like goes let's see a bukkake uh, I've seen about eight lads in McDonald's in the city centre of Belfast just watching it 
while right. we were eating. Which, by the way, that McDonald's in the city centre looks like the last day of Glastonbury. Yeah, that does. It's not enough. And there's definitely not enough time. junkies in Belfast. We need to improve the, junkies. the junkie situation. There's not enough. Right. Speaking of junkies, dessert. <laughs> <laughs> dessert heroin. There you go. Heroin. And what, are you, what are you drinking with the heroin? Peach. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bukkake dish yeah. the, the bag of a, a handsome stranger mm-hmm. you know dessert I am a red velvet a slut for red velvet cake you know and that is a, or, that is a sexy cake too. or the rainbow cake from Bob and Burt's yeah well not the rainbow cake and from it, Asher's that's for sure uh, actually it was well nice yeah and Asher's is nice the spar on Sonny's High Street near me now serves it do you know what you can this is the problem it's like you I know feel guilty eating it maybe that's why nah have your message but also if yeah. you make fucking delicious cake yeah you know be homophobic yeah. it's all good yeah I don't agree with the politics no. but that is a bang and a clare can yeah just well, absolutely that? and I mean it's quite ironic because a lot of the things that are made in the bakery quite gay <laughs> you know here's yeah. me bun fill the cream yeah. with a bit of brown aside. the side that's an eclair there's, there's a chocolate fun. twist it's a bit it's like a ba- it's a cream pie basically yeah. in a clair isn't it yeah. just a brown creamy Sh- delicious would you want to see my cinnamon swirl would you <laughs> <laughs> absolutely yeah. what else care. do you want to see swirl oh. Oh, asshole <laughs> <laughs> and what are, are you drinking what are you drinking though? I'm a drinking with a dessert you know what honestly mm-hmm. uh, we Dr Pepper there you go very casual uh, I don't know what I would drink with the nachos for the main just probably <laughs> some sort of lemonade 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 nice that's cool refreshing drink so you just have one alcohol drink at the start uh, I like just it just sort of wet my whistle a wee bit yeah get you yeah. in the mood yeah. right with a few listeners questions then I'll let you go the guilt trip I was going to say yeah. don't go home yet because yeah. you know it takes that. Nathan Burks asked me will I be doing any more shows in Bangor November in the courthouse date to be confirmed yes special bits and pieces being filmed yeah. be there be square I mean, why is that an insult what's wrong with being squ- be there or be square oh <laughs> Naomi has said, um, by the way, Naomi um, had was asked a question on Instagram stories this week about who her three favourite comedians were, and we weren't in really? So, you know Shocking. what? You know what's going to happen? I'm not going to answer her question yeah. this week. There you go. Not to be... The sass. Not to be bitter, but... Yeah. yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Ah, it was a good question too, so anyway. Um, Patrick Quinn has said, how seriously, if at all, do you take reviews of your stand-up and other work? Is the feedback from peers... That really means something to you. Um, the the online feedback is generally something I don't get a while out of the Jerry Adams cookbook, but it's mm-hmm. the only real time I've ever faced a lot of people going, "You're slagging hunger strikers." Oh. So I did respond to a lot of people because I didn't. You've seen the bit. I don't yeah. slag hunger strikers. I don't name no, them. No, you just do it off. It's camera. just yeah, just yeah, do it off just camera and just laugh at the, yeah. the lunacy of it because that's what was it? What was the long term goal here? Abstaining. Mm-hmm. Here you go. God bless him. RIP. So now I'm in more trouble for saying yeah. that. Hey, listen, Ben, cut it. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, I was the only yeah. thing. So I don't really take it seriously. If someone misunderstands, uh-huh. I'll sometimes reach out and be like, well, here was the, the vibe. Yeah. But most of the time, it's like people who don't even have a profile picture. Yeah. Just going, oh, I don't, you shouldn't be doing that about fucking blah, 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 blah. You know like, what well, I say to them? You know what you should do? Fuck away yeah. off. Do what I want. Yourself. I'll put Preheat it. that oven. Yeah. Get a noose on Etsy. Get a you know, that's another thing. It's the annoying. The ovens, you can't gas yourself to death in them anymore. I know. Fuck's well. sake, Sanusi. Sort yeah. it out. <laughs> Make an oven that you can fuck and pop your clogs in. Sanusi. You know. Gary get, Sanusi get it from CSN New York. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. Yeah. Ding wants to know, would you rather be able to fight like John Wick, Denzel and Equalizer, or Liam Neeson and Taken? Denzel on the equaliser, man. Yeah, why? I like, cal- just... I like that it's like time slows down. He calculates what he's going to do. Right. Okay. And then he does it. Do he's going to say he like does it. like a spreadsheet in his head. Be like, I'm going to fucking kick him in the bag, fracture his elbow. Mm-hmm. I'm going to boot him in the throat, <laughs> in the headbutt, <laughs> blah blah blah, and be Denzel Washington. Same yeah, thing. but I mean, he just works in B and Q, doesn't he? And then just equalises. Pretty, pretty much, yeah. So like, it's just like. Because uh, say what you want, Liam Neeson is going to be sore after that. Like the next day, he'll be, oh yeah. my back is in agony. Yes. For fuck's sake. Yeah, you bastard. I'm supposed to do Derry Girls tomorrow. Yeah. And then I'm going to do the show as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but John Wick, I just feel like John Wick would be very much like me. Mm. I mean, if anyone did anything to my dog, yeah. I would kill them. Yeah. I would look for them. I would find them. And I would bomb them. <laughs> but um, Lisa's sister um, was chatting us one day and she was like, I did one of those workouts by that guy, John Wicks. Yeah. <laughs> so Joe Wicks, I, I mean, just a devastating yeah. workout. Just, <laughs> yeah. But imagine Joe Wicks in those films. Oh, no. <laughs> just fucking flinging chickpeas from yeah. the distance. Joe but Wicks. Force. You're a fan of his, but do you feel like you're a wee bit sick of him now? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Like, I, I met him and all, and that was a nice 
it was a nice time I actually you were really in. into him for a while weren't you and then his, his workouts were good but yeah. now I, I can't listen to him at yeah. all like. and as well his, his wife was like someone I really used to love back in uh, the day you, you like her earlier work mm. her earlier work's better I preferred like her when she was like you know just being a feminist and stuff and doing like feminism modelling and stuff mm. rather than oh just mummy stuff yeah mummy <laughs> yeah like if I was I'd like to be her baby basically is what I'm saying I'd like to latch yeah, I wouldn't mind being her toilet. Not on her tit, though. You know, <laughs> <laughs> on her snatch. I'll latch the snatch. Snatch that latch. Be, yeah. <laughs> that could be your brothel. <laughs> the snatch latch. And Listen, then I'll li- open a cafe with a called Bob and Blurts. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't know. Bob and Blurts. Right, Robin wants to know, if you had to commit one crime in order for it never to be committed again, what would it be? What is that? Mean? Like, so you have to do something you think is the worst crime, but you have to commit it. Um, so it would never happen again so for example paedophilia you'd have mm. to do like then you'd have to do the act that you despise so much but is it for the better good no because then you're a pedo mm. do you know what I mean so, so I have to commit it in order for it to never happen mm. again so I have to well I mean I would take one for the DUP and say sodomy because mm. I mean if it isn't a crime anymore it should be like I like the idea of that being a crime back in the day yeah. and they're what, like you're a member of the RUC and you're like well, what department the RUC we're looking for the RCC you know you're yeah. looking for for bo- like you to just yeah. sneak under yeah. toilet doors and all be like what's going on in here um, and then it's like full bombing like just yeah. bombing it's hardcore and bombing yeah which is that's not a phrase you hear anymore bombing hardcore bombing yeah no. that's the name of my new special yeah fancy a bomb yeah <laughs> I mean be- what, imagine that conversation ask me that exact question fancy a bomb okay sure ah. like it's you never just That'd go be lovely yeah wouldn't mind you know I mean then people are like oh I thought you said bomb like, oh no, no, no. He, I'll, I'll give you a Danish I'll give you a history. fucking chocolate eclair if you know what I'm saying I'll give you a cinnamon I'll swirl. fill your bat full of cream you know what I'm saying you fucking but then you're like I'll give you a cream finger are you dishing out the bums are you I'll be, I'll be here very generous yeah, with the bums yeah. <laughs> listen all I'm going to say is I'll be a bum or two yeah. dished out this evening like yeah. I'll be like Oprah you're getting the bum yeah. you're getting the bum yeah, come on around the soup kitchen, or as I call it, the poop kitchen. <laughs> you go around here and I'll dish out the bums for you, mister. Bums for bums. Yeah. You know, imagine turning up and being like, can I just have a soup and a bap? Yeah. Nah, you're getting bummed. <laughs> oh, well, that's taking a turn, you know. Yeah. Can I have the soup and the bap after? Of course. Yes. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. it's going to be more like stew and a loaf yeah. by the end of the time. Oh, well, we're tossed salad. I know. <laughs> 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 Do you have any brown sauce? Soup and a salad, fucking. <laughs> O'Brien's is alive and well. I like my soup like I like my women tossed. That doesn't even work. <laughs> John Joe, the Shelby? sensei, wants to know. John Joe Shelby, yeah, he's on his way back from injury. He wants to know if Woodsy was asked to write an Expedia or Lonely Planet style blur from Straban, what would it be? Um. Yay. It's you know, it's a shithole where surf and turf is a hobby and a meal, <laughs> which is also in the poop kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, because Straban's basically just a load of bars and hairdressers, so mm-hmm. come for the pints and stay for the perm. There you go. That's a great selling point. But what John Joe's also done is said sent me a a screenshot and said, "Please tell me you've not recorded." And what it is, there's a gay sauna called the Pleasure Dome that will remain open on Monday. But as a mark of respect for the Queen, won't be playing any music or showing porn, but it will be screening the funeral. So you can get buggered in a mournful silence and then watch Her Majesty uh, go off to her reward. There you go. Mm. So this is the post from Pleasure Dome UK. Follow them on Twitter at Pleasure Dome UK. The staff and management of Pleasure Dome Spa join together in expressing their sense of deep sadness at the loss of the passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In accordance with government guidance and advice, Pleasure Dome Spa will remain open on September 19th. As a mark of respect for her late Queen Elizabeth, no music will be played within the spa and no films will be shown. The cinema and the main screen will show live events around her late Majesty's funeral throughout the day at 12pm noon and again 6pm. Guests at the venue are invited to join us in a toast to His Majesty (laughs) King Charles III. Um, Drinks, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, including champagne and spunk, (laughs) will be provided at the cost of the management (laughs) of the Pleasure Dome Spa for the loyal toast. Is that a white Russian? No. (laughs) No. It is not. It is. I mean, what is it? It's It's breast milk. Still got delivery. Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> just take that was the best. Uh, just take me. Right, we'll fill this through because uh, we're running out of battery in the old camera because we fucking nattered on for far too long. So Christopher Porter has said, My question is therefore, has your significant other ever done something nice for you that you secretly disliked, but you had to pretend that you enjoyed it for the record in case she's listening? I actually did a CrossFit competition. She, his, 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 
Bird booked them across this competition, mm. I think. I just didn't have the first part of that question there. Oops. Um, have my child. <laughs> 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 no, no, actually, generally, no. I hate to be the shit answer to the question, but actually, nah. I like Bonoffi. Right. So do. And one of my first birthdays that I had with Catherine, she made me Bonoffi cupcakes and they tasted like shit. <laughs> and I, you know what? I thought either I tell her, mm. Mm, yummy and I eat it. Yeah. Or I just be true to myself. Like it's a love island thing too. You gotta be true to yourself. And yeah. I just went, These cupcakes taste like shit and I lifted them and just fucked them in her head. <laughs> no, I didn't. I tried to eat one and it was like, you know, it's pretty nice. Mm. She goes, Do you don't like them, do you? And I went, To be honest, no. And then she took it thick. Yeah. Not as good as Asher's. Oh no, no. Because exactly. then you have a fucking banoffee and just fucking loaded cheese on that <laughs> well. That's fucking Jamie wants to know how are you selling into being a Delph? What a great way to end the end the podcast. Selling and rightly, I yeah. Think, uh, I mean, you're you're embracing it. Do you feel like you've got? Do you feel like you've changed any since becoming a dad? A wee bit, aye. To well, be fair, I don't. Yeah. Really, I mean, like a cheesy, like oh, my whole perspective is different. And no, is it I, I still can't see you out of my left eye. So don't yeah. Mind. Um, hey, you should wear sunglasses, mate. Aha. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. how we brought it back. Call this is back. this is what you get in the yeah. podcast. This, this is, is what you get. We set talent. the bar. No other podcasts. No, all the other right. fucking podcasts are shit. Let's yeah. be honest. Not this one. Not this one. My ill fated one was quite good for a while. I Woodstock ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> you should bring it back for a one off <laughs> special. Did a documentary on it on Netflix. Fucking shambles. Um looked like fun though, let's be honest. Oh yeah. It did look like it would have been a lot of fun. And being a Delph. I I, I think I'd be Delph alright, you know. You know what Delph stands for? Dad I like the finger. <laughs> you know, just That's alright here. My, I told you my perspective has changed, so Yeah. I'll spread them legs. You know what I mean. And oh, would you be would you be fingered that way? Would you be lying on your back with the legs akimbo? Or oh, I would need to be. So you'd have to lift the bag. I, I, would, I would probably bend over to get fingered. I think. Yeah. I'd, so I'd the bag a, would hang low. I don't have the I don't have the core strength for any other position. So I need to lie and have the legs in the air, and she could work me like a cross trainer. <laughs> <laughs> you should just go back to your wee uh, midwife woman and say, "Can I take the stirrups home?" You'd be like, "What's that for?" To be fingered, too. Yeah, yeah. But then you could do. You could use <laughs> the candlestick yeah. to like lift your bag. <laughs> you just yeah. lift the bag. <laughs> just to hoist the bag. Because yeah. I mean, a bollock yeah. is effectively the same shape as an egg, so it would yeah. cup the same way. Absolutely, yeah. You don't let her what near do with a ball. Spoon. Yeah, I need it's a second candlestick. It's just the flop down the side, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's just like a, like a chicken's gillet, or something. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's like Popeye from the side of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woodsy, listen, yeah. it's honestly been one of my favourite chats I've had on the Sly Guy podcast. Yeah. It's been a pleasure to have you. It's been a pleasure to see you. Yeah, the link to Woods, Out of the Woods, Woods is Out of the Woods, and you said Woodstock there. Yeah. Out of the Woods at the Limelight will be in the description of the video, yes. in the oh, video yeah. and the audio. So thank you very much You're for coming very on, welcome. and awesome. get yourself back to bed. Yeah. In fact, no, do. fucking hang about Hollywood for a while. Yeah. Not that anything's open because of the fucking queen, like. But yeah, that was annoying. You know, trying to get a coffee in the way here was very, very annoying. Yeah, but luckily there was the Republican shop that I'm not going to name it because I actually know <laughs> the owner and he's probably fucking not be happy. Yeah. But luckily there are some Republican venues out there that don't give a fuck. They yeah. stay open. God anyway. bless them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? God bless the Republicans yeah. and the queen. Yeah. But God bless everyone up the hoots. <laughs>